Well, she is getting hugs from random strangers at the store. Lily King is also getting her life back to normal now that she's back in Bloomington. Well, as normal as it can get for an Olympic gold medalist. Two gold medals now accompany textbooks for IU sophomore Lily King, now back from Rio. Not only did she win two gold medals, she entered a primetime feud with Russian swimmer Yulia Efimova, who was previously found guilty of doping but cleared to compete. I had no intentions of planning to speak out. Um, and then they kind of caught me quite candid uh, in the ready room, kind of wagging my finger. So that was that was just purely me being m uh, myself. After a semifinal win in the 100 meter breaststroke, King spoke out against doping. I really didn't think that I said anything that bad, and I still don't think I said anything that bad. King beat her Russian rival in the final to win gold. Oh. I guess I'm the poster child for playing it fair and not cheating, which is sad that there even has to be a poster child for that. She is one part of a U.S. swim team that dominated headlines both in and out of the pool. And I asked her about U.S. swimmer Ryan Lochte, who was getting all sorts of attention for all the wrong reasons. This was the greatest Olympic swim team we've ever had. Um, think of it, I guess, as the swimming dream team. Um, so it is sad that it's taking away from that, but, you know, that's what happens when we do have to, I guess, come down from this, as I said, come down from this cloud at some point, and it just happens to be right now. And Lily King says she is still catching Russian criticism on social media, but her focus is on her future here at IU. Her next competitive swim meet comes October 21st here in Bloomington. In Bloomington this afternoon, for the Now Indy, Mike Pelton, RTV6.